What's up guys, my name is Ace, and we've been pretty busy getting through all the brand new Season 3 content, so I haven't been able to get to the new aftermarket part that was added last week in the weekly challenges. This is the Bruin Mark IX Jack Shadow Titan Kit. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into this to see just how good this is. And I'll tell you up front, I really like this gun so far. But diving right into the basics of the Jack Shadow Titan kit, this gives you a 60 round magazine with a higher rate of fire, although a longer open bolt delay. It's got a built-in suppressor, so you stay off the radar by default. And this does come with a range and bullet velocity reduction. So, so far, it's seeming like a pretty solid option if you want to stay off the radar and be a bit more aggressive with the Bruin. But let's dive into our damage, rate of fire, and time to kill. And when it comes to our damage and multipliers, it's actually exactly the same as the base Bruin Mark IX, so there's no damage adjustments here whatsoever. Then, like I mentioned earlier, our open bolt delay is a bit slower here at 50 milliseconds rather than 33. And just a reminder of what this delay is, when you pull the trigger, with most guns there's no delay. The gun will fire immediately when you pull the trigger, but with several guns, like the Bruin, you're going to be seeing a slight delay after you pull the trigger before the first shot fires. And by default with the Bruin, this is 33 milliseconds, whereas with this kit, it's 50 milliseconds. As for our rate of fire with this kit, it's increased up to 844 rounds per minute, which means our time to kill potential with a 5-shot kill is 284 milliseconds, which is a very solid time to kill and noticeably better than the base Bruin. However, just keep in mind this excludes the open bolt delay, so in many situations you would technically want to add that 50 millisecond open bolt delay to your time to kill to get your real practical time to kill in game. But even when you add the open bolt delay values to the base Bruin as well as the Bruin with this kit, this kit will still be killing faster than the base Bruin. Next up, let's have a look at our range and velocity changes here. As you can see, with this kit, our one and only damage range drop-off points is shorter than with the base gun. It's a little bit over 20 meters, whereas with the base gun, it's about 30 meters. In saying that though, this gun, with or without the kit, is a 5-shot kill at all ranges. However, after that damage drop-off point, this is where you have to hit all of your shots to the torso or arms. And if you don't, if you mix a leg shot in there, it will end up being a six shot kill. So that's where the forgiveness goes down a little bit, but the potential is still the same with five shots to kill. Also, looking at our velocity, we do lose quite a bit of velocity when using this kit. It goes from 810 meters per second down to 567 meters per second. And at this velocity, you'll definitely start to notice that hold you back, especially against moving targets beyond about 40 to 50 meters, which isn't a super long range. Although if you're playing it right, you can definitely keep yourself within those ranges most of the time for 6v6. Now, really quick, I just wanted to show the hardcore ranges as well. I just wanted to point out after our damage drop off point in hardcore, we still have a one-shot kill potential, but only to the torso and arms, and if you shoot them in the leg at that range, it will end up being a two-shot kill. As for the next important stat to look at, let's have a look at our hipfire improvements, and we see some pretty big improvements with this kit. As you can see, these circles represent our base Bruin hipfire, minimum and maximum, so standing still versus moving. And you can definitely see some very noticeable improvements when you put this kit on. It actually makes hipfire quite viable. After that, we also see some recoil adjustments when using this kit, and it's actually an improvement to our recoil. As you can see here, looking at it side by side, there is less total magnitude, and while you may get a little more bounciness with this kit, you don't get that same jump to your recoil after the first shot fired that you do get with the base Bruin, and that's the biggest downside to the recoil with the base Bruin, so this is excellent to see. You can actually be quite accurate with this kit. This is very easy to control. And now let's get into the handling and mobility improvements, since with that 60 round magazine, that makes everything lighter and improves all of these stats. So our aim down sight speed is now 300 milliseconds rather than 350 with the base Bruin. Our sprint out time is also improved by a noticeable margin from 250 milliseconds down to 207 milliseconds. Our reload add time is significantly faster at 1.72 seconds, just like we would normally see with a 60 round mag on the Bruin. And then when it comes to our mobility stats, these are all improved pretty drastically across the board. Essentially, we're going from very clearly LMG level movement speeds up to very average movement speeds for an assault rifle, which is very noticeably better. So there we go. Those are all of the most important changes that come when you use this kit on the Bruin. However, I also wanted to point out just some attachment restrictions once you put this kit on. First off, we're unable to use a muzzle attachment because we have that integrated suppressor, which keeps us off the radar by default while using this. We also can't use a barrel attachment. Those are completely locked off. We can't change our magazine capacity. We're locked at 60 rounds while using this kit. And then finally, we also can't use any of the ammunition attachments, which means unfortunately, this is not gonna be very good at taking out streaks compared to the base Bruin where we can put the incendiary rounds on that. 
I was thinking initially, since the base Bruin is the best gun in the game right now for taking out streaks, and with this kit, we're dealing the same damage, but with a higher fire rate, that should in theory make this the best new option for taking out enemy streaks. But you would need incendiary rounds in order to reach that potential, and we don't have access to that. So this definitely isn't going to replace the base Bruin as the best LMG in the game for taking out streaks. In saying that though, this is definitely going to be replacing my previous all-around build with the Bruin Mark IX, which is this build right here that I shared in my gun guide. And while this was and still is a pretty solid build with this gun, we can simply make it a lot better now with this kit. So these are the attachments that we're going to be using. I've got the DR6 handstop, the 1 milliwatt quickfire laser, which is not a visible laser. We have the jack glassless optic to help a bit with that firing aim stability, which I do feel this kit needs a little bit at least. And then finally, we've got the lane 56 stock combined with, of course, the kit itself. And with this one, you can see that we've got a very accurate gun on our hands. There's a little bit of bounciness to it, but overall, I consider this to be a very accurate, easy to control gun. Our aim down sight speed is pretty incredible for an LMG at least at 284 milliseconds. Our sprint out speed is also very impressive for an LMG at just 189 milliseconds. With this kit, we are of course hurting our open bolt delay, our range, and our bullet velocity. But those trade-offs are worth it in my opinion, and like we saw earlier, that range reduction isn't as severe as it might seem, since we still have a 5 shot kill potential at any range. And then of course, with this kit, we are staying off the radar when we fire this gun. And honestly, I've got to say, this is my new favorite build to use with the Bruin Mark IX. I would much rather be using this kit than not at all. And with this kit, while that is my favorite attachment combination to use, I also wanted to point out, you can make quite a solid hip fire and tack stance build with this since it helps in those areas quite a bit. So with this particular setup, I've got the Bruin Bastion angled grip, the Schlager ULO 66 laser, the Lane 56 stock, the Bruin Q900 grip, and then finally the Jack Shadow Titan kit. And with this, we get a pretty solid tack stance spread at 1.9 degrees. And also our hip fire values are really good here as well. So you can use this quite effectively either hip firing or in tack stance. And when it comes to some of the other stats, our sprint out time and aim down sight speed are improved nicely with this. And I consider this to be a nice alternative if you're looking to just change things up a bit and mess around. Now, of course, I wouldn't be using this build if I'm going for peak performance. It's more so just for fun, and I wanted to make sure I was sharing this build with you guys. And with that, that's finally going to wrap it up today's breakdown of the Jack Shadow Titan kit for the Bruin Mark IX. And overall, I've got to say, I really like this kit, and it's definitely got me wanting to use the Bruin a whole lot more now that they've added this. Now, of course, these are just my thoughts, though, and I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you feeling about the Jack Shadow Titan kit for the Bruin Mark IX? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.